What's up guys, Daniel here, and today we'll be going over Acer's Windows Mixed Reality headset. Out of the box, they get two controllers, which they do provide batteries for you, so that's a good thing. Two masks, so you can share with your friends, and the main headset. So you can see in the front, there's two cameras or sensors where you can detect your movement. Now for the controllers, they are comfortable and light, and it's made out of plastic, and there's a lot of buttons. Like any new controller, you do feel lost, but after five minutes or so, you will get used to it. And the buttons are really well placed. So I do have small hands and everything is reachable. For the connection, there's a HDMI and USB. On a side note, I do like how these two become one cable. So it's very clean when you are connecting to your computer. On a side there, you do get an audio jack, which is for your headset. On the back of the headband, you do get a knob, which loosens and tightens so you can get that perfect fit. And the padding is really comfortable. It's thick and you can even tighten even more so you can feel more comfortable and more strapped in into your head. Again, it's pretty thick, so you will sweat a little bit after using it for a while but it is sweat resistant on the face portion it is padded as well for you guys who snowboarded or ski before it's pretty much the same as wearing a ski goggle so it is pretty comfortable so in the front you do have the sensors where it pretty much senses where you walk around. And this is great because you no longer need to set up external sensors to detect your movement. Before using the headset, there is a program where it checks your compatibility for your laptop or desktop. During the setup, they do give you a quick tour of everything you need to know on this headset. And the process is very easy. First, you pair up your Bluetooth controllers and choose how to use your headset. Now, of course, you can use it while standing up around your room or you can use it while sitting down. So basically, you trace around your room and that's pretty much it, you're set after that. So once you get this VR going, you start off with your cliff house, which is basically your desktop. And inside your home, you can move around, teleport to different spaces, you can move the furniture around and add more stuff. Of course, you can also add more panels of your apps around the walls. So while you're in here, you're basically customizing your own VR home. So in terms of moving around the house, all you need to do is move up on a joystick and you will teleport to your spot. And the panels on the walls, they are set for you once you get in, but you can move them around to any way you like. And these panels on the walls, they're basically applications that you can find on your desktop. So you get Microsoft Edge, the Microsoft Store, you can view pictures and watch videos. So whatever you can do on a basic desktop, you can do here, but inside this VR home. Now apps for this VR headset, there isn't too much stuff out right now. It's still early, but of course more will come soon. Now right here, you can see a very good example of me using the touchpad. So it's still pretty smooth and responsive. So to launch more apps, you just hit a Windows button on your controller. Pretty much the same as hitting the start button on your regular desktop. From there, you can control your volume levels, launch more apps, or you can put more apps on the wall, and you can find more of your apps that you downloaded from the store. In terms of using VR for gaming or other applications, it's really nice. It's not that laggy. Images are pretty sharp. Now that depends on your computer performance overall. Now this test has cameras in it, so you can move it around and you don't have to set up any external sensors to sense your movement. And the lines that you are seeing, they are the walls or the area you traced. So it's nice to constantly know that what's around you and you're not gonna hit anything because that's the threshold that you can't go through or you're gonna hit something. So I got to play Ghostbusters and it's a very simple game. You throw the trap and you grab the ghost to the trap. And the controls were pretty responsive it's comfortable, of course. It takes a while to get used to it because there's so much buttons, but again, after a while, you would have no problems using the controllers. Now, this headset is very easy to use and is super clean. All you need is your laptop or desktop, the headset, and the controllers. That's it. The overall comfort is really nice, it's well padded, and it's light. One of my favorite things is this thing can stay on your head. So you can just flip up the headset and you can do whatever you like, grab a quick drink or answer quick text, and go back to your VR. And it's nice to have a VR home and you can decorate it to however you like. The overall headset is responsive and it's pretty sharp. The price tag for this headset is $399, so I think it's pretty steep, especially when there's not too much apps for it right now, but that will change in the future. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys like this video. And of course, remember to like, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. You are in great danger.